Kafal greetings to you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, what a lovely day. This Monday, I pray to everyone that is going out there that God Almighty will be with you in Jesus' mighty name. Anything you place your hands on, God Almighty, we're going to bless it in Jesus' mighty name. You will not walk in vain in Jesus' mighty name. I pray for a divine breakthrough in your financial area in Jesus' mighty name. I pray that God will settle your home in Jesus' mighty name. The topic of today is the Sabbath day. We will believe on Sunday. Let's go into the book of Exodus 20 verse 11. Let's see what the scripture has to tell us. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea, and all that is in them, and rested the seventh day. That is why the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. That is why the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. So why the six days, the scripture said, he made the heavens and the earth, the sea, and all the things in them. So and um, when he got to the seventh day, he rested. God rested on the seventh day. Oh, so on the Sabbath day, it is very important for you and I to rest. You need to rest on the seventh day. That is very very important and the most important thing there is to keep it holy then how can you keep it holy it is a very simple ideology what you need to do is to go to church to renew your mindset in order for you to continue to live an only life and for those who want to live or understand the christ like you go to church to hear the word of God it is very important so when you are in the church you have two purposes in the church on the Sabbath day take note of this I said on the Sabbath day you have two purposes number one is appreciating God by worshiping God in holiness and in truth it is very important that is number one number two is to listen to the word of God. It is very important for you and I when we go to church on Sunday, which is the Sabbath day, to keep it holy, you need to listen to the word of God. Record or jot every key point of that sermon. Jot it down. All the Bible references, jot it down. And when you get home, call your family together what do you understand what do you understand what do you understand you dine in the word of god you read it over and over again you 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 read it to understand yes you read it to understand and after being done with that the next thing you need to do is to check your life with the scripture compare your life with the scripture so you'll be able to amend your way. You'll be able to amend your way. And another thing you need to do is settlement in the home. Settlement in the home. If there's anything your wife, your husband, your children has done for you, call yourself together. You talk and settle it. Yes. You talk and settle it. And don't forget... I started with rest. You must rest. Don't let anything to take it off your mind. You must rest because your body needs it so much. This is all I have to say about the Sabbath day. And if you know that you have more explanation on this, you can write to my bio and I will reply to you. And I thank everyone who is subscribing to this channel and everyone who have been following the teaching of the love of God on this Lenten period. I really appreciate you all. And I pray that God Almighty will continue to uphold every one of us in Jesus' mighty name. As I will come your way again, I remain my humble self. And I'm saying to you, stay blessed. Shalom.